Well, first of all, I think uh, would, uh, I'd be interested to hear, and I think the audience would be interested to hear about the genesis of the film a little bit. Uh, it's originally, it's a novel by Shuichi Yoshida uh, from 2002, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and I think it'd be interesting to hear how you came across the novel and what in the novel you thought would be interesting to uh, put on the screen. えっと、え、ま、今あの説明あったみたいに吉田修一さんのえっと、この映画を撮る前の7年前にえっと、発あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの
こう感情的にも近いものをやりたいということでこれをすごくこう思い入れを込めてやってもらえたかなと思ってます。ケント・ハヤシ is an actor who、um, has done a lot of sports films, had a very wholesome sort of image. And、um, for this part, he really、uh, put down the cross of these, all these、uh, sort of uh, you know,、uh, young people's p o r t films. He put down the cross that he bears from that. And he really wanted to do a part that was closer to who he really was at this point in his life. And so he really put a lot of himself into this part. I'm going to ask you one last question before we open the floor to questions.、Um, I, I think, y u k i s a r a s a n you've been an explorer of、uh, youth, I believe. You, you,、uh, throughout your career, I think a, whole of, of your, a lot of your films are focusing on young people. That was the case、uh, with Go,、uh, which I hold to be、uh, truly one of the best films of the decade. It's a film for which you got. Virtually all awards in Japan at the time.、Uh, that's the case, of course, with Crying Out Love.、Uh, do you think in this film, in Parade,、uh, it's a portrayal of is that the way you see Japanese youth and perhaps Japanese society?、Uh, and in that sense, don't you think it's a maybe it's, isn't it a bit of a pessimistic view of Japanese society? There's a sense of alienation throughout. And in, in, in the end, there's this sense of discomfort at the end. Is that how you see Japanese society? It's a very important thing to do with the people who are in the world. I think it's a very important thing to do with the people who are in the w 僕はあの田舎者だったんですねあの九州っていう日本の南の方の田舎から東京に出てきたんですけども東京に出てきた時に一度だけ自分とは違う過去の自分とは違う仮面をかぶることができたんですでその都会のその空気の中にこう侵食されていくっていうか取り込まれていく感じっていうのは非常にこの小説を読んだ時にも感じたしあの今の東京田舎から出てきた僕の見た東京っていうものがこの映画には投影されていると思います。I don't, I don't, don't think that all young people are like this necessarily, and I certainly don't think all young people in Tokyo are killers. But,、uh, when I first read this novel,、um, there's something that really struck me.、Um, I myself am from Kyushu,、uh, which is in south of Japan. It's a countryside. And、um, it, the experience I had when I first came to Tokyo was something I saw really reflected in a novel. I think when you come from the countryside and move to an urban city like Tokyo, you have one opportunity to put on a mask of a different persona and reinvent yourself. And、um, over time, that mask actually will start to、uh, take over and erode the person you really are. And I think that's something that's really well reflected in the、uh, novel. 今の若い人たちの一番僕が恐ろしく感じるのは無関心さですよね。あの人と人のコミュニケーションは非常にうまく取れてるんだけどもあの本質的にあの根底の部分で意外とこう何に関しても無関心なんですね。あの自分のやりたいことに対しても無関心なんじゃないかと疑うぐらい非常にこうその場その場での,この空気を読むっていうことしかしていないっていう。なんかそのその空気みたいな東京のなんかこうそのなんかねなんだか遺体の知れない空気みたいなものが一番恐ろしいと思ってるんです僕自身は。The thing that I find most frightening about youth today is their, their indifference and absolute apathy towards things. That they communicate really well、um, interpersonally, but、um, when it comes to anything that really matters, that there's an apathy there that lingers. And、um, it makes me doubt that, it makes me wonder if something that they really care about themselves, even to that, maybe they're really indifferent to it, that they don't really care. And、uh, I see them sort of going through relationships, just reading the situation and responding to that.、Um, that's something that I, I it, there's an unusual air in Tokyo, that sort of environment, that atmosphere that I find really,、um, really uncomfortable. Thank you. I think we have time for a few questions. There'll be two microphones circulating. If you have questions, please raise your hand and see a question over there. Hi, thank you for your time.、Um, I couldn't help but notice that there was a portrait or the painting by Gustav Klimt, the,、uh, the Kiss. And I think that represents intimacy in, just for the painting, but does that reflect the intimacy of the audience watching them? Or does that contrast the intimacy of the roommates? Or am I completely off? 
えっとね、関係なくはないと思いますね。とね僕がちょうど僕と吉田さんが、えー、と20歳ぐらいの頃ですかねな,んかなぜかこう僕が東京に上京した頃にクリムトのあの絵がやたらいろんなところにいろんな人の家の<笑>にあった覚えがあるんですね。なぜあの絵があの時代にたくさんあったんだろうと不思議に思ってたんですけど原作にもちょっと出てくるんですねそういうことが書かれてる。それって非常に僕とその原作者の同時代性みたいなものとその記憶みたいなものがあるしで実際非常に表層的な生活をしてるんだけどもなんかそうあの絵とは完全に真逆の関係っていうかそれをでもなんかこう表層的になんか飾ってあるところを皮肉みたいなものはなんか僕自身はちょっと感じてたりはしてました。No, it's not completely unrelated. Um, when I was、uh, about 20 and I first moved to New York,、uh, I'm sorry, to Tokyo, and、uh, when Yoshi Yoshida san, the, the novelist, and I, when we first moved to Tokyo, I remember seeing that painting everywhere. I just remember seeing it in a lot of people's apartments, and,、uh, and I remember thinking why it was so common in that era. And that's something that、uh, Yoshida mentions also in his writing, and、uh, it's something that we share as a memory of that time in our lives. And、um, of course, it shows、um, intimacy that、uh, is the complete opposite, in a way, of、uh, what the, the roommates are experiencing. So I like that it has an ironic presence in that room. But in Tokyo, the people who are in the room are not going to be able to do it. It's a good thing. 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 But I think young people in Tokyo now, they don't really think about the meaning of the painting at all.、Um, they just like it you know, as a mood. They kind of like what it looks like. And I think that's really、um, that sort of surface interpretation.、So, uh, please join me in thanking Yuki Sada san. Thank you. Thank you.